Oh, freedom, freedom hill. We built thee round by round. From the waters Prince Fear came, birth from thy hollow ground. Prince Fear has flooded many times. We've been asked as a group collectively, well, why don't you all just leave? Especially after the flood, Matthew, you know, people were saying, okay, enough already. When you love something or someone, you just don't give up on it that quick. The historic town of Princeville sits on low-lying land within the hundred-year floodplain of the Tar River. In 1885, it was the first town incorporated by African Americans in the United States. Even with a levee between the town and the river, big storms like Hurricane Floyd in 1999 and Hurricane Matthew in 2016 have brought devastating floods to the town. Hurricane Matthew flooded 80% of Princeville filling most buildings with over eight feet of water, including the elementary school. When I first arrived here in Edgecombe, um, it was maybe two years after the flood. And when I walked in, the building was pretty much a shell. Furniture destroyed. It looked like an abandoned building, a lot of broken windows because it had been left vacant for a few years. We lost our school, so therefore we lost everything even personal belongings of the children and the teachers. It played a very big impact on our students because they were displaced. We had to stay at another school for a long time. I was wondering what was going to happen. I was kind of scared because I was like, are we going to go back to school? Despite the impacts of these floods and the potential for flooding in the future, residents of Princeville are working to rebuild. Princeville is not going anywhere. If people read the history of Princeville, then that will lead them to the answers, the reason why citizens are still in this community today. This is family, this is home. Um, you know, our ancestors, blood, sweat, and tears um, paved the way for us. So the least that we can do and where we are today is continue to build upon that momentum. But with climate change increasing the likelihood of storms with even more rainfall in the future, they're rebuilding with flood resiliency in mind. NC State and the Princeville community developed a flood print plan, converting vacant land into community garden plots and building green infrastructure like rain gardens around Princeville Elementary. It's making the school site more storm friendly, if you will, because it's dealing with the water that's coming off parking lots, roofs, and other impervious surfaces. And then at the same time, it provides like a multitude of benefits through working with teachers on how it's incorporated into the curriculum. So think of the landscape as the largest classroom at Princeville Elementary School. The landscape around the school isn't the only thing being redesigned with flooding and learning in mind. The whole building is, is still original, but the inside was good at 100%. Some of the things we did, such as raising all the light switches and receptacles above four feet high, removed all the sheetrock, so all of our walls now are masonry walls, so that if we were to have water again, it's just a matter of coming in, wiping them down. The interior doors are now what you call FRP doors. You just wipe the doors off. We actually put in flood vents that if the water ever came in, instead of it being trapped in here, the doors will open up automatically and they'll allow the water to escape. And we put the air conditioning air handlers on top of the mezzanine and we moved all the electrical panels above the ceiling as well. So now that if we were to experience water, we would not lose the major systems the mezzanine also serves as an elevated storage space for critical parts of the school if they hear that a flood is coming. And, you know, people don't think about, you know, simple as buying library books. Like it takes a while to get those books ordered and restored back into the building. I pray that we don't have another flood, but it won't take us a long time to get back in our building. Beyond the financial implications, all of this matters because being displaced from a school they're familiar with can have a big impact on kids. I was not scared because there are some other new kids there and all of them, um, my friends, moved away. I've been at this school for a long time and it felt kind of different, this change. A lot of times school is a place that um, kids feel safe. You already know, okay, I'm coming to school, I know I'm going to have breakfast, I'm going to have lunch. You have a place that you can just be a kid and, you know, learn. You first walked through that door after three years, it was just like, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it, like it was just like, we're back home. Each time Prince Rio flood, 
It may take some time for it to become back to a, a livable condition, but each time, obviously, we bounced back, even before my time. Somebody bounced back. So I said, well, if they bounce back, if Turner Prince and the crew bounce back, I can stay here and help it to bounce back. Standing tall through wind and rain, from the waters rose the gain. Oh, Prince Phil yet remain, God's faithfulness abound.